Artifacts Roadshow is brought to you by the Stone Tree Library, a place for dusty tomes to be studied by dustier academics. Or is it? Let's have a look at what some of the other people at the library are doing. Okay, if I'm reading this right, the treasure should be concealed under the second Minotaur statue in the Lost Temple. Yeah! This potion calls for dragon liver extract. You have to chant, Kalukale, Kalukale, when you harvest it. <laughs> is this? It is! They have a scroll depicting the number six unicorn fist technique! It's supposed to be forgotten! Hi, I need all the books you have on the legend of Hilding Helvia, the Hammer of Home, Halfling Heroine. I'm writing an alliterative ballad. Also, I'm going to need your most robust thesaurus. And that's not even scratching the surface of what's available. Uncover lost lore and forbidden facts at the Stone Tree Public Library. Mysterious magical items litter the dungeons, caves, and hordes scattered all across for Hallgard. Some are incredibly useful and valuable, and some are cursed junk. But how can the average adventurer tell the difference? Diviner Valdez can tell, and will tell, today on Artifacts Roadshow. This sword, axe, and spear are evidence in a guard investigation. We believe they were stolen, and may have been used in a crime. We were hoping you could tell us what they are. Hmm, well, starting with this sword, I think this is the bastard sword. You mean a hand and a half sword? I could have told you that. No, no. Not a bastard sword. The bastard sword. It's magic. Supernaturally sharp and easy to swing, but it influences the wielder. Encourages them to make vicious cheap shots. Hence the name, the bastard sword. I'd regard it as cursed, but it's kind of a gray area. Fair enough. Actually, these other two are similar. This is the jerk axe and the son of a bitch spear. Ha! <laughs> Well, those names are a bit less ambiguous than the bastard sword. So, you're saying these weapons influence the wielders to fight dirty? Yeah, okay, that tracks. Thank you for your assistance with the guards' inquiries. My pleasure, Captain. If the pieces which aren't technically cursed go to auction, altogether they would be worth 1,500 gold. If they end up at the guard auction, that's how much I would expect them to get. The Bastard Sword, Jerk Axe, and Son of a Bitch Spear, recovered as evidence by the Stone Tree City Guard. 1500 gold. Well, we've got. I guess this is a family heirloom sword. My family always seems to have had it, and it's seen some use as a plow on the farm or a wood cutting axe in a pinch. But no one ever remembers sharpening it, and still keen. That's why we thought it might be a magic sword, and perhaps a really good one? We're hoping it might be worth a few hundred gold. Let's see. This sword has been used as a farming implement? Yep. As long as anyone can remember. Hmm. No. I'm not getting anything. Oh. N nothing? At all? Hmm. Not, not really. Just a fine, well-made sword. It's probably worth more to you as a tool than you could get for it in gold. So I would hang on to it. I see. It's not what I wanted to hear, but thank you anyway. Is she gone? Masada's knuckles! What? That sword? That girl? That's some magical destiny stuff. Oh. Should you have told her? No. She'll find out when it's time. Family heirloom. Apparently worthless. I was traveling in the woods round Stone Tree, and I stumbled on these boots, walking in the road. The boots were just sitting in the middle of the road? No. The boots were strolling the road, all by themselves. Ah, yes. These are the boots of walking, and that's just what they'll do. They'll what? The boots of walking walk all on their own, no feet required, as you obviously noticed when you found them. Ah, they just wander as they please. And no one can wear them. Oh no, you can wear them. The boots of walking when worn will walk for you. 
You could travel for days without stopping, sleeping on your feet, and your feet will never get tired. The boots will just follow the road. That sounds pretty handy for a ranger. Yes, just one thing. When you take the boots off, if you want to keep them, tie the laces together so they can't wander off on their own. I would say these boots of walking could be worth 650 gold. All right. Thank you, mate. Boots of walking found doing just that. 650 gold. That's it for this Artifacts Roadshow. Remember, if you've got unknown items, bring them into Diviner Valdez and learn their hidden secrets. You're listening to Kingdom of Stone Tree Broadcasting! Ha <laughs> ha!